Okay, so for the last competency, which is competency nine, and that's evaluate practice with individuals, families, groups, organizations, and communities. My evaluation with individual was, individuals was shown through my time sending out surveys to clients who utilized work-life partnership, more specifically the navigators, um, in order to see the impact we did or did not make with clients. These satisfaction surveys were sent out once a month and allowed navigators to be evaluated from the client's perspective. So not only did I send them out, I also got a lot of the responses back. Um, so I firsthand got to see like, how are the, these navigators helping them and do clients really see a difference um, in the impact navigators make um, and the resources navigators are sending to clients. My evaluating with families was shown through Understanding how person and environment uh, resources worked, this process made me consider how work-life partnership can work to change environments for family situations. So this occurred in the organization by navigators finding safe housing for families when needed, which occurred um, pretty often, and I got a lot of knowledge around the uh, person and environment situation and how resources can play into that um, through the navigator sharing those stories. Evaluation of groups was shown by sending out surveys to the staff regarding trainings the equity committee put together to see how helpful the staff felt those trainings were. Evaluation also occurred in our weekly meetings with the equity committee and the grant team. We all evaluated each other during those meetings and spoke on what we thought was going well for certain projects that we were working on or um, like if we were writing grants, like is that going well for us or how can we pull in other members um, to be more efficient in that process? And then we would also just kind of speak on how can each of us do better um, going forward. Evaluation of organizations um, was me just recognizing how work life operates on a micro and macro scale and how the uses of organizations make the uses of other organizations make that possible. So we were able to work on a micro level because of the work that the navigators do with the one-on-one -on -one with clients. But there was a lot of work, there was a lot of macro work as well that a lot of people don't see. And our work with EOC and other organizations really make that macro work possible. So evaluation of communities was possible through understanding how work-life partnership can better serve the community by examining the data um, on who uses what resources. So I spent time with my field instructor going over data of clients and um, what resources are more are, or have been shown to be most effective and um, most liked by clients um, and just getting a better idea of how the communities can benefit um, based on what clients are telling us in these surveys.